Now that you know how to hold your instrument, let's talk about cleaning it. There's no way to avoid getting rosin dust, oil, and dirt on your instrument, but that doesn't mean it has to stay there. What can you do about it? Clean your instrument regularly. Doing so will protect the varnish and avoid buildup. The recommended method of cleaning is to use a soft cloth like this one to remove the rosin dust, oil, and dirt that will accumulate on your instrument after each use. If you do this every time you finish playing, as you should, that means you'll need to keep a cloth like this inside your case so that you can wipe your instrument down right before putting it away. Start by wiping off your strings. Next, take your cloth, put it underneath the strings so that you can get the top of the fingerboard. Then, do the top of the instrument. Make sure you get underneath the fingerboard as well as underneath the tailpiece. Do one more quick round, and then make sure you get underneath the bridge. If you don't have an instrument cloth handy, you can use any non-treated cloth as long as it's soft, lint-free, and non-abrasive, such as a cloth you might use to clean a pair of eyeglasses. In rare cases, so much rosin can build up on your strings that an untreated cloth won't do the job. We recommend using steel wool. Buy the finest grade of steel wool and wipe down your strings with it. It will cut through the buildup and restore the response of your strings. There's also a wide variety of polishes and cleaners available for stringed instruments. Although, honestly, if an instrument is properly maintained, these products will not often be necessary. Let's say you do allow dust, oil, and dirt to build up on your instrument, and you do need to use a cleaner and polish. Make sure you test the cleaner and polish for compatibility with the varnish in a small, inconspicuous area of the instrument. To do this, take your cleaner or polish, put your cloth over it, and get a very small amount onto the cloth. A good place to test it on your instrument is down here on the bottom by the chin rest for violins and violas or by the end pin for cellos. Rub just a little bit on there and wait to see if everything's okay. Once you've determined that everything's okay with the varnish, feel free to use it on the rest of your instrument. When cleaning your instrument, it's a good idea to start with the cleaner and then move to the polish. It's best to use these products only on the areas of your instrument that are actually dirty, that you can see there's buildup and that need to be cleaned. So we're gonna start with the cleaner. And I've already determined that these products are safe to use on my instrument by testing it in a small spot. So I got a small amount on my cloth here. And I'm gonna take it and rub it in to the wood, kind of in a circular motion like this, very gently. And once I've determined that the spot is clean and the buildup is gone, I can wipe it off with a dry part. And then we can use our polish. I would recommend getting a separate cloth for the polish. And we do the same thing with the polish. Get a small amount on there doesn't take much. And we're going to rub it in a circular motion in the same place. And this will make it nice and shiny. Once you've done this, you've cleaned your spot. Feel free to go around the rest of the instrument, but be sure to avoid touching the strings, the fingerboard, and any other place that's not the top of the instrument, or that's not the wood of the instrument. After you've tested an inconspicuous spot with the cleaner and polish on your bow, feel free to clean the rest of the bow. To do this, first take your bow and tighten the hair, and make sure you check in the middle to see that the hair is away from the stick. This is to prevent the cleaner or polish from touching the hair. Next, take your cloth and carefully thread it underneath the bow like this. Holding it upside down will help you do that. After you've cleaned it, take a dry cloth and wipe it down. 
Of course, it also doesn't hurt to take your instrument into your local violin shop once in a while to have it professionally cleaned. Sometimes the buildup on your instrument will be more than you and your cleaner and polish can handle. If you find this to be the case, a shop will do a more thorough cleaning job, mostly because they can take down the setup of the instrument. Don't worry about changing the sound of your instrument if you do take it to a shop. They'll work with you to ensure that your instrument sounds the same before and after its cleaning. Let me offer you one huge warning in flashing neon lights. You should never ever use commercial or household cleaning products on an instrument or even near an instrument, especially alcohol-based cleaning products. Store your instrument in its case or put it in another room if you need to spray these products because in some cases, even vapors can cause serious damage. When it comes to keeping your instrument clean, prevention is key. Avoiding fingerprints and wiping down your instrument after each use are great ways to keep it looking and sounding its best. If you have any questions about instrument care and maintenance, please post them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. <laughs>